consider the following equilibrium system. So we have nitrogen gas plus oxygen gas uh, forming nitrogen monoxide gas, uh, and the KEQ value for this is 0 0.52. If nitrogen gas, oxygen gas, and nitrogen monoxide were added at equal concentrations of one mole per liter to an empty flask, what is the equilibrium concentration of nitrogen monoxide? So we're going to start by writing down our ACE table. So we'll have our reaction written again. And I, C, E. So our initial concentrations are all 1.0. So anytime we have initial concentrations in all three for all of our species, we're going to calculate Q to figure out which side will decrease in concentration and which side will increase in concentration. So Q is going to equal the concentration of nitrogen monoxide squared over the concentration of nitrogen times oxygen. So this is going to equal 1.0 squared over 1 times 1, and we get a Q value of 1. If we compare that to K of 0 0.52, we see that Q is bigger than K. Therefore, the uh, reaction will shift left to remove some of the product meaning that it's going to be an increase in the concentration of our reactants and a decrease in the concentration of our product. So when we fill in our ice table, our reactants will have a positive change and our product will have a negative change. And we're again going to use x's here. So this is going to be minus 2x plus x plus x. So on this side now we have 1 plus x on our reactant side, and our product side will have 1 minus 2x. So uh, when we plug this into our equilibrium expression, KEQ equals NO squared over N2 times O2, and we plug in our values, so 0 0.52 equals 1 minus 2x all squared. And then we can, because these two values are the same, uh, N2 and O2 is going to be the same as just writing N2 squared in terms of concentration. So we can list the bottom as 1 plus x squared. So because we have squares on both sides there, we can take the square root to cancel out our squares on the top and bottom of that, of that fraction. I'm going to do write, write down rounded numbers, but I'm going to keep the full number in my calculator. So the square root of 0 0.52 is 0 0.72, and that's going to equal 1 minus 2x over 1 plus x. So I'm just going to leave out the decimal so it's easier to write. Uh, we're going to rearrange this, so our denominator must stay together. So we're going to take this 1 plus x value, and we're going to multiply it by 0.72, each term by 0.72. So 1 times 0.72 is 0.72, and x times 0.72 is also 0.72x. That equals 1 minus 2x. Uh, so in order to group things together, we're going to move our 0.72 to this side of the equation, and our x this way, so that we get positive x's. So we're going to have 2.72x equals 0 0.28. And so to solve for x, we're just going to divide 0 0.28 by 2.72. And we get 0 0.102. Uh, so I'm not really maintaining sig digs here, so that's moles per liter. We're now going to plug that x value back in to solve for our equilibrium concentrations. So the equilibrium concentration of nitrogen is 1 plus x, so it will be 1.10. The equilibrium concentration of oxygen will be the same as nitrogen, 
and the equilibrium concentration of nitrogen monoxide will be 1 minus 2x, which is 0 0.80 with rounding. Okay, so our second example, what is the equilibrium concentration of hydrogen gas if initially 0.5 moles per liter hydrogen and iodine gas and 0.6 moles per liter hydrogen iodide gas were added to an empty flask to establish the following equilibrium? So we have our equilibrium uh, equation with a KEQ of 3.75. So we can construct our ice table here, ICE, and we can fill in our known values. So we know that our initial concentrations are 0 0.50 for both of our reactants and 0 0.60 for our product. So we're now going to take these numbers and we're going to calculate Q. So Q is going to equal the concentration of hydrogen iodide over the concentration of hydrogen times iodine at our initial um, point in the reaction. So 0 0.60 over 0 0.50 squared. And we get 1.44. So comparing to K, we see that Q is less than K, so the reaction will proceed to the right to increase the concentration of products. That means that the, we will uh, have a negative change for our reactants and a positive change for our product. So we can fill in those signs now. Um, we're going to represent our change as x, so it'll be x for these two and 2x because of the coefficient here, giving us equilibrium concentrations of 0 0.50 minus x and 0 0.60 plus 2x. So we can write our equilibrium expression now and plug in our numbers. So 3.75 is going to equal 0 0.60 plus 2x squared over, and I'm going to combine H2 and I2 because they have the same uh, value at equilibrium to write 0 0.50 minus x squared. So I'm going to take the square root of both sides here to get rid of those exponents, make this easier to solve. And again, I'm going to write a rounded number down, but I'm not going to round in my actual calculator. So I'm going to have a 1.94. It's going to equal 0 0.60 plus 2x divided by 0 0.50 minus x. And again, we're going to take this bottom term, move it up, and distribute the 1.94. So that's going to be... 0 0.97 minus 1.94x equals 0 0.60 plus 2x. So we're going to move the 0 0.6 over this way and the 1.94 over that way um, so that we have positive x values. So our next step is going to be 0 0.37, so that's 0.97 minus 0 0.6 equals 0, oopsies, 3.94x, so that's 2 plus 1.94. Um, so x is going to equal uh, 0 0.37 divided by 3.94, and we get 0 0.094 moles per liter for our x value. So the question is asking what is the equilibrium concentration of H2? So we're going to plug this back into our equilibrium concentration for H2. So 0 0.50 minus x. And we get 0 0.41 moles per liter.